If you're like the majority of Americans, you probably have a budget. And if you're like the majority of Americans, chances are you went over that budget last month. You're not alone. Making a budget is only helpful if you can stick to it. But instead of throwing in the towel and tossing it out the window, let's look at creating a realistic budget and practical ways to make it actually work. I'm Sabrina with Virginia Credit Union. Let's go build a better budget. The following presentation is brought to you by Virginia Credit Union. When creating a budget, there's no one size fits all, and that's okay. A model we often recommend is the 50-30-20 budget rule, where 50% of your take-home pay goes towards needs, 30% towards your wants, and 20% towards paying down debt and building your savings. First, let's look at needs. This is anything you have to have to survive. This would be your housing, car, food, and utilities. These needs should take priority as you're thinking through your monthly budget. Now, let's look at the wants. Wants are things you'll buy, but are optional. Things like that new cashmere sweater, or those must-have tickets to your favorite team's game. These are things that bring you joy, but can also be a budget buster. More on that later. Finally, savings and paying down debt. You should look at 10% going towards debt and 10% going towards savings. A good tip for saving is to picture this 10% as a bill you pay yourself each month. Let's look at the numbers. Here's just one example to help you see numbers in real time. Remember, every budget is different. Say you have a yearly salary of $50,000. Your take-home pay after taxes and deductions is around $2,600 a month. Of that $2,600, you should aim for no more than 50% going towards your needs. That's $1,300. You'll want to budget 30% for your wants, which is $780 and then 20% towards debt and savings. That's $520. Where's the best place to focus to make your budget work? For most, it's that 30% we allot for wants. This category can get away from you if you're not accurately tracking your spending. Look, I get it. I'm not saying to cut out every purchase that brings you joy, but with these optional expenses, start putting intention behind your spending. I know. Easier said than done. A helpful way to put intention behind your spending is to create spending speed bumps between your wants and your money. Just like when you drive, those speed bumps will help slow down your spending, giving you pause before making a purchase. One speed bump we recommend is the gift card method. Years ago, my day wouldn't start until I had my favorite drinks from Starbucks. My morning routine included picking up my mobile order as I sat through 95 traffic. While I enjoyed my pumpkin spice lattes, I started to notice how much I was spending on coffee and looking at it as a whole was a shock. From there, I put myself on a Starbucks budget. Each pay period, I would set aside $50 on my Starbucks gift card. Once the gift card was up, it was gone and I stopped getting coffee. For some, $50 a month towards coffee might seem a bit much, but for me, it kept me in control over my spending while still allowing myself to have something that brought me joy. Another great speed bump is only using cash for your wants spending. For some, tapping a credit card is too easy. It doesn't feel real, and you might not notice those little purchases here and there coming out of your account. Bring intention back to your spending by taking the 30% you assigned for wants in cash and only use that for your spending. When you're out of cash, you stop buying. No cash, no buy. Raise your hand if your email inbox is like 95% promotional emails. Most of them claim only a few hours left or this sale will end soon. You weren't even thinking about getting that new sweater. A good speed bump? Unsubscribe from those promotional emails ASAP, out of sight, 
out of mind. Anyone else love Prime? With two and even one day delivery available, it's too easy to buy things. Take a look at your spending on Amazon and see if the convenience is wrecking your budget. Consider scaling back your membership to a regular Amazon account. Sure, you'll miss out on the free shipping, but it'll all come out in the wash with other ways you're saving. Finally, one of our favorite speed bumps is the cart cool off. If you're online shopping and on the fence about a want, let it cool off in your shopping cart for 24 hours. Too often our wants purchases come from impulse. When you revisit the page the next day, is that sweater really worth it? You'll be surprised at how many times you say no. If you're shopping in person, put the item in your cart, walk around the store. Before checking out, revisit the item and see if it's still worth it. How will you stay consistent with your budget? One key is to give yourself grace. Say you went over this month. Don't get down on yourself, it happens. It's better to have a budget than to stop using one altogether just because you went over. Stay flexible, but keep going. Your budget should live and breathe with your life changes. Say you got a raise recently. First off, congrats. Consider using that extra pay bump towards your savings. For example, if your income has increased by 7%, you can give your savings a boost by taking 3% of that raise as part of your take-home pay and bump up your savings with the remaining 4%. Another tried and true way to making your budget work is finding an accountability partner. They could be a family member or a friend. Someone to keep you honest about just how many Starbucks lattes you bought this month. There are plenty of ways to record your budget and handy apps that will make staying on top of it easy. Find an app that works for you. But if you can't find an app you like, you can always track your spending on paper the old-fashioned way. Budgeting can be tricky to navigate, but as you reach your goals, make sure to celebrate your wins. This doesn't mean go on a full shopping spree. We're still maintaining a budget here. But treat yourself for all the good work you're doing. Share your wins with us on social. We want to see how building a better budget works for you.